the cubs are doing wonderfully. Well, the one cub. So we've managed, now that the other vehicle's moved out of the sighting, we've managed to nab the best spot. And this is too priceless for words. The mum's been wrapping her amazing bone-crushing jaws so tenderly around her cub's head. Look, it's covered in her spit, in her saliva. Oh, oh that must be so sore. Hyenas are born with fully erupted teeth. Um, I don't know how many of you out there have ever raised puppies or kittens, but you know what those baby teeth are like. They're like needles. And even though that cub is tiny, it is that, that bite probably hurt a great deal. Luckily, hyenas have thick skins. I'm pretty sure this is Scarback, you know. I still haven't seen her properly, but now facing her front on, that's who I think it is. I, I could easily be mistaken, but that's who I think it is. And the cub just wants to go back to bed. She's not letting it. She's blocking up the entrance. <laughs> oh, this is gorgeous. Hyenas are such loving, tolerant mums. And at this age, they really are at their cutest because they're so wobbly. Nita, who is eight years old, one of our special young viewers. Oh. <laughs> you want to know if the cub can walk as soon as it is born. They are born quite well developed, so they do shuffle around the den. They crawl, but they don't walk particularly well. And it's because hyenas have quite underdeveloped back legs and hips. And if you watch as this cub starts to venture further and further from the entrance to the den, it's going to be very wobbly in the beginning. Its back legs will keep collapsing underneath it. There's alarm call. Sorry, hold on. Uh, stations the Kudu are alarm calling uh, Trias Dam. Big time. Uh, negative, can you repeat that? Ah, copy that. <gasps> Goodness, look at the cub, look how far it's gone. Oh, you're so brave. Standing by. Copy that. Uh, once I leave Missy Kyle, go follow up. Uh, they very cross that side. Copy that, Rex. Sorry, Chantal, I was busy talking to the walking team. Oh, there we go. James is going to follow up on those alarm calls. Wonderful. Go for it, James. It's still nice and active here. Yeah, I'm just letting James know that he must go and follow up on those alarm calls because those kudu are cross. Hi. Look at its little tail tucked up. So they do, you can see it's very wobbly on its back legs. Uh, do any of our hyena experts have a confirmation of the identity of this mother? Those of you who are watching on big screens. Okay. Crystal's also thinking Scarback, but not 100% sure. It's been a long time since I've seen Scarback, you know. I actually um, suggested that she might be the mother of the older cub, just because it was about time for her to have cubs, but it seems like she's got a brand new, very wrinkly addition. Look at those wrinkly wrists. <laughs> oh, baby. Here we go. Tucking in to feed, just the paws in the air. 
Rebecca, um, hyenas usually have two cubs at a time. Uh, it's very common to see one though. So they usually uh, will carry two to full term. As I said, especially for new mothers, the labor process is, oh, those kudu are so cross. I don't know where James is, but he must race. There's a, I'm sure there's a leopard at Treehouse Dam or around that side. Um, yes, very often new mothers actually can't, they don't manage to deliver both babies safely. So it's quite common to see one hyena cub. That, of course, has led to this very prevalent story that hyena cubs will always kill each other. If so, oh, hyena siblings. Hyena siblings, if they are the same sex, supposedly would always kill each other. That's not the case at all. Yes, it probably does happen every now and again, and the, the fact that they're born with fully erupted teeth, there is a power struggle. And it, perhaps, yes, it might result in the death of a cub, but it's not nearly as common as it was. It used to be believed. It's not nearly as as frequent as, say, with birds of prey. Uh, Sheila, it's impossible to say. Um, Sheila wants to know if I think that she had more than one and the other one didn't survive. I think that is a strong possibility because hyenas usually give birth to two, but it, it's impossible for us to say. We really don't know at this stage. I think it is safe to assume, though, that she only has one cub. I would have, at this stage, I would have expected both to be out and feeding. When the cubs get a bit older, then you can't always be certain because sometimes one of them wants a lion, so they don't actually always pop out of the den. But at this age, I think it's safe to assume that there is only one cub. I'm chuffed, though. I don't know what to do, to stay or to go. I'm going to make up my mind. In the meantime, Tristan has got a tent web spider. <laughs> 